In a product business, it is common that you'll buy your products from your suppliers in bulk. You'll then either use a fraction of that product within your assembly line if you're a manufacturer, or sell an individual unit or a fraction from that bulk purchase if you're in wholesale and distribution. To handle this in Unleashed, you need to break down bulk items into smaller manageable units to use in your assemblies and sell. And sometimes when you do this, change the unit of measure that we originally purchased the product in. In this example, let's assume I am a manufacturer and I need to purchase a product from my supplier to use in my assembly. When purchasing any goods that I wish to break down, I need to purchase in quantities that my supplier works in, regardless of how I plan to use them in the manufacturing process. I have added various units of measure within my system settings. I am then able to assign these to my products. As an example, for my jam making business, I use sugar in my various assemblies and purchase this from my supplier in a 500 kilogram container. My product here is called bulk sugar 500 kilograms and my unit of measure is per each unit. I'll buy in my 500 kilogram container using the purchasing module in Unleashed as normal. I want to buy one container and therefore my quantity will be one. When the container arrives, I'll receipt this in as normal so I have it ready to use in my warehouse. When I actually come to use the sugar within my assemblies, I use 10 grams of sugar for a batch of jam. If I use this in my assembly, it would be 0.00002 as a quantity. As industry standard, Unleashed works to four decimal places and therefore we wouldn't be able to add this quantity to our assembly. So how do I get round this? I need to break it down so that it's in a more manageable quantity. The first step in doing this is to create a new product with the unit of measure and quantity that I can easily use within my assembly. In this example, I've created a new product called one kilogram of sugar. This is a much more manageable quantity as for my assembly, I would need a quantity of 0.01. Therefore, I need to disassemble the original product into the new product. To do this, I need to create a new bill of materials. I've created one here to show that my 500 kilograms of bulk sugar breaks down into 500 units of my new one kilogram quantity. If I tick this box, Unleashed will automatically disassemble my product into smaller units. That way, whenever I buy in the 500 kilogram product, it will automatically disassemble into the 500 units of the one kilogram product. This only works if I don't batch or serial track this particular product. If I do batch or serial track, I can't do this as I'll need to assign the batch and serial number to ensure traceability, and therefore I'll have to disassemble the product manually. To do this, I'd go to Production, Assemblies, Add Disassembly. Here, I'll choose the item I want to disassemble, in this case, my container of sugar. I put the quantity I want to disassemble here, and Unleashed will then show me how many units of the smaller product this will make. I'll assign any batch or serial numbers as usual. Then when I hit the disassembly button, I will have 500 times one kilogram batches of sugar ready to use in my assembly process. Now, when I go back to one of my bill of materials to make my jar of jam, I can use 0.01 of my new broken down product and finish it. Using Unleashed in this way will mean you can always trace what's going into your finished product no matter how small the quantity might be. Thank you for watching.